Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks, and welcome back to the monthly macro challenge where we set you guys a theme and you can go away and take some macro photos for a chance to win some really great prizes. Now, it's been a couple of months since our last macro challenge, so I'll remind you of how to enter and what you're going to be doing in the second half of the video. For now, we need to jump over to the computer and take a look at some of the entries and pick a winner for last month's competition. So then guys, here we are on the Adapt Looks Macro Photography community page and you can see that last month's theme was winter. So we have lots and lots of wintry macro photos entered as comments on that post. And our last month's theme ran for a little bit longer, so we've got a lot to get through. We have some notable mentions and of course we have a runner up and a winner for the theme of winter. Let's get started with our first notable mention. Our first photo for this month comes from Wendy, who has taken a picture of tiny little snowflakes rested on what is presumably a jumper or something like that. Maybe she was trying to keep warm and uh, just found this opportunity to uh, grab in macro one of these snowflakes. And we particularly like this because uh, it's not a perfectly sharp photo go all the way through uh, the, uh, the depth of the image there. There's still some nice soft um, focus in the front and the back, which really brings the attention to this perfect snowflake in the front here. Uh, and uh, to a lesser extent, this little one next to it is a really natural photo. It feels like uh, you've just sort of pulled up your sleeve and you're taking a look at the, uh, the snow settling on your clothes. So it's a really nice wintry themed, wintry feel photograph uh, to kick us off for this month. Thank you very much for your entry, Wendy. We hope to see more from you in the future. Next up, we've got a similar theme. Uh, of course, it's winter, um, so the, everything's going to be slightly cold themed, but we've got more um, ice this time. You can see how it's formed on um, what looks to be a piece of glass or something like that, and these ice crystals are spreading out, uh, taking that familiar shape of um, snowflakes, but uh, I think these ones are on some glass because there's that telltale giveaway of some really out of focus, colorful background. I'm going to guess that this is on a window and he's looking out into the garden maybe. Um, these maybe are trees with um, autumn leaves falling off. Um, so let me know, Christopher, whether uh, this is indeed taken on a uh, window looking outwards or whether you've set this up in a studio or something similar. Uh, it's a really fantastic photograph. Um, everything is in perfect focus here because we've got a flat plane to look at um, and that colour in the background just makes it pop a little bit more. So very nice photo, Christopher. Thank you very much for your entry. Next up, we've got another Chris and another wintry photo, although this one is a little bit uh, differently themed. We've got um, some penguins playing around in the snow, but of course, uh, this is not real snow. We've got um, some Christmassy treats. I'm gonna presume that these are coconut with chocolate, maybe some marshmallow on the inside, but the coconut works really well as perhaps some snow or ice over the top of these little domed treats. And of course, the marshmallowy white substance on the inside works really well as well. Um, and then we've got these little um, penguins placed around. I'm quite partial to HO scale figures and uh, little toys and things uh, for the change in scale. We've got the tiny penguins mixed with the much larger real world items, which makes this a very whimsical and fun photograph. Uh, thank you very much for entering it, Chris. Uh, and we hope to see more like this in future competitions. Next up, we've got a familiar face, uh, Lynn, who likes to um, give us all of the information right out of the gate about how his photographs were taken, which is really, really helpful. I do recommend uh, going and tracking down this photo and reading the full description of how it was taken because it's very, very interesting. You might be thinking this is maybe um, some sort of Christmas ornament, maybe paper, and it's been lit with some colored light. But in fact, it's a paperweight trapped inside glass, which makes this um, all the more impressive that this photograph has been uh, captured. Um, I'm thinking from the top down so that all of these um, 
parts of the snowflake inside are reflected and refracted around in the glass. Uh, I'm not quite sure where the colour comes from. I'll colour the LED lighting. I'm not sure whether that's adapt looks or not. Um, Lynn, you'll have to let us know. But either way, this is a really interesting and very different photograph, um, still representing winter and Christmas, of course. Uh, but thank you very much for your entry. Now we're coming back to frost on window panes and Scott here has actually confirmed that this is frost on a window. Uh, he's taken this with, presumably it's in the process of freezing rather than melting, um, but all of these uh, little drops of water are still present and these huge, detailed, interesting spirals of uh, frost crystals forming on the window are really, really interesting. Uh, and he's actually entered a few of these photos, so we've got a couple to look at here, and they really are fascinating with so much detail, uh, especially in the center area here, uh, where you can see every single individual crystal. Uh, they really are interesting photos. Thank you very much for entering them, Scott, and we hope to see more of your work in the future. This month's runner-up winner is Paul with his icicle photograph, which has a huge amount of detail in it. Um, you can see each individual air bubble that's formed as this icicle has frozen over time. So it's a really interesting photo to look at, not only for that detail, but also for the execution. It's a very sharp image, it's nicely composed, and it's got that nice blue background reflecting through the clear ice. So it's a really fantastically wintry image. Thank you very much for your entry, Paul. Uh, you're our winner, runner-up winner for this month. For this month's winning photograph, we're going back to Christopher, who's also entered this amazing photograph of a frozen bubble. Now, I've not tried frozen bubble photography um, because it's, it takes a lot of uh, things to fall into place to get a photograph like this. Uh, the bubble's got to stick around. You've also got to have the right temperatures to make it freeze. And then you can think about uh, executing your photograph perfectly just like this one. Um, we've got all of that detail, or again, of the frozen ice forming on the surface of the bubble. We've also got this lovely out of focus bokeh in the background where the frost has formed on what is, it looks like a decking or maybe a picnic table or some sort of outside wooden surface. Uh, and it's a really, really nice photograph just to take in and look at all of that detail of the ice. So thank you very much for your entry, Christopher. You're our winner for this month. Thank you once again to everybody that took the time to enter some wintry macro photos into last month's competition. But it is a new month and a new year, so we need a brand new theme and some new prizes. The theme for February is going to be love. Of course, Valentine's Day is in the middle of February, but by the time we get to the end of the month and we're picking some winners, that will have passed. So we're keeping it quite generic with just a nice open theme of love. You can interpret that however you like. Go away and take some macro photos of the people that you love or things that you love or just something that represents that feeling. A new month means new prizes, so our first prize winner this month will be getting one of our miniature tripods, and the runner-up will be getting an Adapt Looks branded baseball cap. They're brand new, uh, they've just got a little Adapt Looks logo on the front. My one's looking a little bit old at this point, but yours will be brand new off the shelf. If you've got some macro photos or want to take some to enter into this competition, all you need to do is head over to the Adapt Looks Macro Photography Community Group on Facebook. I'll put a link to that down in the description, or you can just search for Adapt Looks on Facebook. And on the top of that group will be a pinned post from myself, uh, and you need to enter your photos as a comment on that post. There'll be lots of information on the group. I am looking forward to seeing what you guys can come up with with that theme of love, so make sure to head over to the group and enter some photos. If you need some ideas or inspiration of how to take your photographs, I will link uh, to a couple of videos just here that might be helpful. All that's left for you guys to do is hit the subscribe button so that you're here in another month's time for when we go through all of these photos and pick and announce some winners. For now, that is all that I've got time for. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.